the Leo Bancroft handicap next at Ascot. One mile, four furlongs to travel. Three-year-old horses rated between zero and 80. Kasakova Claire for Danny. Idealism motivator Paul Fisk. Alter and Thela Howes for T. Rogers. Galashti, French. Pure Whim for Thomas Rogers. Dilshan, Doubt, Graham, Clutterbuck. Tuscan, Fiorino, Martin Leadham. Noble Quest, Greg Beckwith. Raynell Sailor, Alex Ince. Camacho Dancer, Ryan Costello. Azazam Negra, Alex Cherry. Pep Rennell, Satyam. Raphael Ashore, Alex Cherry. And a lengthy breath for Ryan Costello completes the lineup. 14 runners here taking their chance in the Leo Bancroft handicap as the stalls open. They're off and running. And a lengthy breath, and Pet Rennell broke quickly. And your early leaders with Dilshan Doubt there in Graham Clutterbuck's green, red, and white silks. Towards the rear of the field at the moment, we've got Idealism Motivator, Alter and Thela Howes, Azizam Negra, and Pure Wim as well is towards the rear of the field as Pet Rennell's setting a pretty decent gallop early on. They're going to be going a good clip here in the Leo Bancroft handicaps, 12 furlongs to travel here at Ascot. Pet Rennell's already opened up a good length of three to four lengths over Rennell's sailor, a lengthy breath racing on the inside of Dilshan Doubt. Over towards the outside of those two, we've got Rafaela Shaw and the all blue silks and red hat of Galash. Uh, Camacho Dancer, another Ryan Costello runner in the green and white silks, uh, the striped silks just in behind that chase and pack. And further back and also racing on the outside, we've got Kazaklova Claire and Noble Quest. So they're going to be going the longest distance home today, racing so wide and still towards the rear of the field. We've got Pure Whim, Ideal as a motivator, and Aletta Negra. The, the jockeys are already sending some distress signals to the jockey uh, to the horse there trying to get them to start making some progress as we're already into the final six furlongs and uh, Pet Rennell has really had a few of them hard to work already and just to make sure that they don't uh, give this one too soft a lead Dilshan Doubt and Raphael Ashore are going to go off in pursuit as we go into the final five furlongs Raphael Ashore is about to join up uh, and go alongside Pet Rennell, the jockey now just giving that one uh, a couple of reminders and pushing it along and wants to really stretch these out and kick back on and maintain that lead so Pet Rennell moves on uh, Raphael Ashore hard at work as well wants to to stay in touch and hang on to the coattails of Pet Rennell, Rainel Sailor and Dilshan Doubt looking to try and make a move down on the outside as well as we're coming towards two and a half furlongs looking at the chase and pack to see what might be coming out and Noble Quest's really trying to get going alongside Camacho Dancer on the outside, Galash trying to stay on into it as well but Pet Rennell has got a lot of them in trouble here as one and a half furlongs out, it seems to be widening the gap over Rainel Sailor Dilshan Doubt, Raphael Ashore Noble Quest still trying to stay on down on the outside but we're coming towards the half furlong marker and it's still Petronel in the need now it looks as though the tank might be starting to empty and here comes Raphael Ashore and Raynell Sailor as we come to the line the tank did empty and Raphael Ashore flew past Petronel held off Raynell Sailor wins the Leo Bancroft handicap flew home a furlong out it didn't look like anything was going to get to Petronel but all of a sudden the tank emptied there is a stewards inquiry in progress couldn't tell you what that's for has the winner held on to this race hold on folks here comes the results yep Raphael Ashore gets up wins it for Alex Cherry ahead of Alex Sins's Raynell Sailor the two to one favorite has to settle for second Petronel looked the winner a furlong out just got snagged uh, but a good performance to come third at that price. Galash fourth for D French and Tuscan Fiorino for Martin Leadham completes your top five, but the Leo Bancroft handicap goes to Raphael Ashore.